I'm walking through the doors of the church. Hello, University of Dayton. You might not think walking through the doors of the church is that important or significant, but really, really it is. In church talk, it separates the sacred, the holy, the beautiful church, the inside of the church, from the profane, which is what's outside. It's the world. So when you walk through the doors of the church, you're walking from the world, the profane, into the sacred, the holy, the beautiful. The parts of the church, that part that I was in at the beginning, the narthex, is a place of welcoming. It's a place where people come in. It's where churches usually have greeters that say, welcome to our church and um, make people feel warm, like they're part of a family. Then you usually put your hand in the holy water font and make the sign of the cross. This is reminiscent of our baptism, the waters of our baptism. So when we come in, we bless ourselves with that water. And then the next part of the church is called the nave. Now you might not know what the word nave means, but the word nave in Latin means boat. So when you see the inside of the church, the nave of the church, it reminds you of a boat. And what does a boat do? A boat keeps people safe and protected on the water. Whether the water is stormy or calm, you're safe inside that boat. You're safe inside that nave. And that's what the church is. No matter what is happening on the outside, no matter what comes in the world of the profane or the outside world, anyone who walks through those doors and comes into the nave is safe and protected. You're here in a sacred space the, uh, where God is, God's presence totally surrounds you. So that's the second part of the church. So the first part was the narthex, where you're greeted and welcomed as a family. The second part is the nave, um, which means boat, and where you're kept safe and warm and protected. And then the third part, at the end of the nave, what we call the sanctuary. And in the sanctuary, you will notice that you have to step up. And all churches, there should be some type of separation between the nave and the sanctuary. and our church, you step up. Um, a long time ago, there used to be communion rails, which really separated the nave from the sanctuary. And what's in the sanctuary? The altar and the tabernacle. The tabernacle is the gold box behind the altar. In the tabernacle holds the body of Christ, the actual body of our Lord. I always teach my students that when you go into the sanctuary, you must give a very reverent bow before you enter the sanctuary because you're entering a holy place. You know, I said the tabernacle holds the body of, of Christ, which it does. Every mass at that altar, a beautiful miracle takes place. Such a holy spot, such a holy, holy place in the church is the sanctuary, okay? Because it holds the body of Christ and miracles take place there every day. All right, so we have the narthex where you're greeted like a beautiful family. You have the nave where you're protected. It's like a boat on the waters. And then you have the sanctuary where it is separated from the nave in a way of that's being elevated. All right, so those are the three main parts of the church. So when you come into a church next time and you see the beautiful narthex, it could be big or small, that's where you're gonna be greeted. Then you come through the doors which separate the sacred from the profane.
and you use the holy water in the holy water font. And when you place that on your head, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you're blessing yourself, reminiscent of your baptism. Then when you come through the doors, you know that you'll be in the nave, safe and secure like on a boat in the waters, whether they be choppy or smooth. And then all the way up at the, at the front of the church, that's the sanctuary. That's the holiest place. That's a place that's separated, usually by one step or maybe more than one step. Those are the parts of the church that you see in every Catholic church that you attend. So whether you go to a church here in Joliet, Illinois, or a church in um, Europe, or a church in Africa, you will see those three places. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you.